Hi, in this video we will go through the process of making an object slicer in VR. This was achieved by using the Easy Slice framework made by David Arion. More on that later in the video. In all fairness, the implementation for VR I will show you could be better. There are some unexplainable things happening sometimes, so it's not completely reliable. There are some workarounds for this. One option could be to use velocity to force the player to act fast, so issues with colliders are not visible. For example, for a game like Beat Saber. Another workaround would be to work with a plane that you control by activating a trigger. I will make a video tutorial on this in the future, as well as a series on how to make Beat Saber yourself. Let's begin. First of all, before starting, make sure you have the XR Interaction Toolkit installed and have your VR headset set up. I will be using my Oculus Quest. If you want to set up your Quest for Unity, feel free to watch my tutorial on how to set it up. The link is in the description. This video is not a video for complete beginners, but even if you are new, you should be able to follow along. Start a new project in Unity with the XR Interaction Toolkit enabled. As mentioned before, we need the Easy Slice framework to make it all work. You can download the framework for free and add it to your Unity project. Go to github.com slash David Orion slash Easy Slice to download the project. Thank you, David. Download, unpack and add the Easy Slice folder to your assets. Make a new folder called Scripts. Because I know most of you guys just want to start slicing as fast as possible, I uploaded two scripts to my GitHub page so you can just download them and put them in the scripts folder. Go to github.com slash landvr slash slice meshes. Download them, unpack them and add them to the scripts folder. As usual, delete the main camera. Add a plane so we have a floor. Make sure the plane positions are set to zero. Add a room scale XR rig. Create an empty object under the right controller and name it Sword Collection. Under the Sword Collection, add a cylinder. Set the scale to 0 0.03, 0 0.6 and 0 0.05. Set the Y position to 0 0.6. Change the name to Sword. Enable is trigger. The second thing to add here is a plane. This will be the invisible slicer plane. Set the scale to 0 0.07, 1 and 0 0.12. Set the rotation to 90, 0 and 90. Set the Y position to 0 0.6 and the Z position to 0 0.3. Name it Slicer. Because this plane should not be visible, disable the mesh renderer. To make the sword easier to handle with the controller, select the sword collection and rotate it 45 degrees on the X axis. Out of the controller, add a cylinder. This will be the cylinder that will be sliced. You can pick whatever convex shape you like. A convex object never has holes when you draw a straight line from one side to the other side. So it can be a triangle, cube, cylinder, sphere or capsule. A ball or a ring for example are not convex shapes. Set the scale of the cylinder to 0 0.5, 1, 0 0.5. Set the Y position to 1. Move it a bit away from the XR rig and move it a bit aside so it doesn't touch the sword when the app starts. We need to set a custom layer mask for the sliceable objects. So let's make one and add it to the cylinder. Go to layer, add layer and name it sliceable. Add a rigid body. We still need to link the two slice scripts. Drag the slice listener to the sword and the slicer script to the slicer plane. 
select the sort and drag the slicer onto the slicer in the slice listener. Select the slicer plane and set the slice mask to sliceable. Before starting, go to the left and right hand controller and remove the XR Interactor Line Visual, Line Renderer and XR Ray Interactor. And that's it. You can now build and run the app and slice the cylinder. If you want to slice the newly created parts again, you will have to add a sliceable layer mask in the script to the Make It Physical method. In a future video, I will go further into customizing the slicer script and I will go through the slicer script step by step. If you want a breakdown of the script right now, you can download it from my Patreon page. Figuring out a way to slice objects in Unity with the VR controller was a challenge that took a lot of time and effort, but I'm happy I did it and that I can share this video with you. If you want to download the complete project, you can do so from my Patreon page. The project is set up for the Oculus Quest, but you can easily add or enable other VR headsets. Thank you for watching.